What's going on everybody? Welcome back. We are going to be talking about skill military in this video. We've got two other videos coming. They're talking about Kestrel and then another video talking about Heroes for Hire and that rework. Um, we're just going to be basically several videos at once dropping with this embargo. So if you guys want to check out those other videos, there will be links down below if you guys want to go check them out. This one's going to be focused on skill military. And about a month ago when I heard that they were doing the rework of the rework for skill military, one of the things I brought up in my video that I sent off to Scopely was, hey, why not make them a, why not make them a Merc counter? And um, it looks like they have indeed made them a Merc counter, a very strong Merc counter too, which brings me great joy. And yeah, we'll talk about all of that, but um, yeah, there was a lot of concerns I had in that video, and I'm not going to say that uh, my video influenced the, the rework on Skilletary, but it was nice to see that apparently I was on the same wavelength with Scopely in terms of what needed to be adjusted with this team. So we're going to break down everything that's going on here, and you guys can see uh, they just demolished that Merc team in less than 60 seconds. Big thing there. So um, let's start with the patch notes. Number one, all the all of the abilities that transferred positive effects, you had to have three or more skilletary allies with those characters in order to transfer that. No longer the case. They will just automatically transfer. Now, it still has to be in war, but um, yeah, this is, uh, at least some of them are in war, but um, like you can see here, the, the ultimate here with, with Punisher is war required, but now you don't have to be in a full skilletary team in order for this to... Uh, in order for this stuff to trigger. So, um, yeah, this is a big deal. I'm very excited to see this. Number one, uh, yeah, transfer positive effects, excluding taunt, no longer requires a skill terror team. Big, big deal there. And also, uh, if you see there with the ultimate for Punisher, he will do that no matter what team he's in. So you're still going to get that big hit if he was with other teams. I've done a video talking about how Punisher works fantastically with uh with a shadowland team if you don't have a full shadowland team you do have, you do have daredevil on there punisher works great on a uh, on a skilletary or on the shadowland team so now you can use him in that team and still get that big uh, that big bonus hit with his ultimate now uh moving on killmonger uh the one big change for him as well is on his special no longer requires a full skilletary team this will work uh, pretty much anywhere so if you are still using killmonger in a merc team he's not gonna be able to transfer positive effects and a Merc team. So there are some very big, uh, this is a nice change that doesn't mean they have to be on a Skilletary team to have those. So far, uh, not big buffs to Skilletary. Well, then we get down here to Black Widow. And, <laughs> oh, oh man, uh, Black Widow, I'm not, I'm not saying you have to have Black Widow on Skilletary, but you're probably gonna consider putting on a Skilletary team now. Uh, her counter and assist has now mirrored the functionality of her basic. I thought it did already. I guess not. She will clear and copy buffs if she's stealthed while performing an assist or a counter. Her special, it now also clears one negative effect from skilletary allies, and it also applies speed up to self and all skilletary allies for two turns. Now, there is a bit of a repetitive nature with this because the uh, Red Guardian will apply speed up to skilletary allies, it is for one turn though, this is for two turns, so you do get a little bit of uh, of sustainability there with the speed up. That was a concern with your Skilletary team was that once that speed up expired on that first turn, they were dreadfully slow. Now you can put Black Widow on that Skilletary team and get some much more sustainable speed on them. I believe it's like a three turn cooldown on Black Widow, but she moves incredibly fast. She's going to be going all the time, so you don't have to worry too much about losing out on huge windows of speed up with this. Uh, her ultimate uh, <laughs> now is able to transfer one positive effect. Again, does not have to be a skilletary team. So if she's still on Avengers, if you are keeping her on an Avengers team, she's still able to transfer those positive effects to herself while on that wave one Avengers team. She will now always chain to three targets if Yelena or Red Guardian are present as well with the ultimate. It was just Hawkeye. They've now added that skilletary bonus in with Red Guardian and Yelena. And then you get down here to her passive. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is where things get a little nuts. And this is why you're really going to want to consider Black Widow on a skilletary team. Originally, on sale, she gained offense up and applied death proof to an allied Hawkeye. Now, on self or ally stealth, remember, Yelena also gets stealth. Apply offense to self and all skilletary allies. Apply death proof to all Hawkeye, Yelena, and Red Guardian. <laughs> this is nuts. Um, 
I was not expecting this when uh, when we were getting the rework with Black Widow. I thought they were just going to start with the uh, with the team cleanse and kind of keep it there and maybe give a little bit of assisting synergy with Yelena and Red Guardian. But who? Um, yeah. How about this? So uh, let's let's break this down a little bit. You now have offense up on Black Widow. Black Widow will move first because she's one of the fastest characters in the game. I think she's the fastest character in the game. She's going to have speed up at the start of the fight because of Red Guardian. She's incredibly fast now. She's going to go first. She does her special. Her special gives speed up for two turns on all skilletary allies. Also gives offense up to all of them. So Punisher, Yelena, Merc Soldier, Red Guardian, all four of them are going to have uh, offense up. And in case you're wondering, what about if I switch out Merc, so Merc Soldier? You're going to want to keep him. We'll get down to his rework here in a minute. But um, yeah, offense up to herself, all skilletary allies. Death proof to Yelena and Red Guardian. Red Guardian, the guy who has a pre taunt on him, he has defense up. Now he's gonna get death proof. Um, <laughs> yeah, how about that? Uh, also applies assist now to Red Guardian and Yelena. So if she uses an attack, she will call both of them to assist. Yeah, Red Guardian on assists will not apply defense up to himself. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, He's still going to assist, and Yelena's going to assist. And what happens if Yelena assists? Well, let's uh, let's take a look at that. If Yelena assists, then... Um, yeah, I mean, she's just going to be applying... She's just going to be uh, attacking, not doing any damage. Though, I wonder if maybe they would add this in, transferring the positive effects, because that would be pretty awesome. If not only does Red... If not only does Black Widow uh, use her ultimate, transfers a positive effect... And then also Yelena Assist is able to copy and transfer positive effects too. That'd be great, but that could probably be a little overpowered. So um, yeah, you're getting both Red Guardian and Yelena to assist now on, on Black Widow abilities. That's huge. The offense up, we already talked about that. That's massive. But also, one other thing I forgot. Um, Yelena has offense up synergies. On offense up, gain stealth. And while this character has stealth, gain 100% bonus crit damage. Um, yeah, so... So now you're automatically going to go into stealth with Yelena as soon as Black Widow pops her special. Not a big deal right away because Yelena's going to use her special and go into stealth, but I believe she gains stealth at the end of the turn. It may be at the beginning of the turn, but still, uh, some synergies with stealth and offense up there with, uh, with Black Widow and Yelena. So this is huge, guys. Uh, this Black Widow rework... If, uh, if you are able to pull Black Widow off Wave 1 Avengers, and I don't think many people are going to be able to, but this does leave the door open for Skilletary to have a very, very powerful character with Black Widow on that Skilletary team now. Now let's move on to Yelena. Her special. Big problem with her special was that Deflect really screwed it up. Now, this attack can no longer be blocked. So, yeah... Rip, uh, rip deflect boosts on Strife. Now you can't block it anymore. Um, he can also, uh, sh on her ultimate, it says ultimate, but this is definitely her passive. If this character is speed up, all skilletary allies gain 100% bonus accuracy on war offense at the end of any turn. If a non protector skilletary ally is taunting, clear taunt and apply stealth for and two regeneration to them. This is a Merc counter. The big thing with Mercs is that Taskmaster would always put Taunt on the highest damage enemy. That's going to usually be Punisher on your team because Punisher just naturally is top 10 in terms of damage. Now, Punisher goes, he uses his ultimate, he applies Blind and Bleeds several characters on your team. Now, he also puts Taunt on Punisher. Yelena then clears at the end of, of Taskmaster's turn, gives Stealth and Regen to Punisher. So... Yeah, that that uh that taunt basically does nothing against a skilletary team. Additionally, this 100% bonus accuracy with the speed up on your team because of Red Guardian and or Black Widow, uh this is one where um uh it's uh the blind does nothing to them. It's just like with uh with Daredevil. Daredevil has that bonus accuracy that makes him immune to blind. This is the same thing here. They have speed up. Blind's not going to do a thing to them. If you go back and look at the at the footage, when they have blind on them, it just doesn't do anything because they have that 100% bonus accuracy. So uh, you can also see, it's a little interesting there, Black Widow is so fast, she moves before Taskmaster and this Killmonger and Shuri team. Now against the full Merc squad, Taskmaster will move first, but again, not going to do a big thing. I'm usually going to bring in Korath 
but Korash just going to have to target Red Guardian. There's not much you can do there. Um, but yeah, no uh, no assists on non-attack abilities from Taskmaster. They've got all this blind on the team, and look at this. But Punisher definitely has blind. He's still hitting enemies. So yeah, that 100% bonus focus there, or bonus accuracy with Yelena's passive, will hardcore counter the big deal with, uh, with Taskmaster. Gets rid of his Force Taunt, gets rid of the blind. So now... It's definitely looking like this is going to be a solid Merc counter. Now, we're going to have to see what happens if you take Black Widow off the team. But I do think that without Black Widow, you're still going to do all right with this team. But um, yeah, those uh, those bonuses there to Yelena's passive look great. Uh, for Red Guardian, he got a slight buff on his passive. He now applies defense up for two turns to himself and all skilletary allies. Great to see. Uh, now they can have, now they can definitely take a beating at the start of a fight too. That was another big problem with them is some of them are very squishy like Punisher. So having defense up for two turns on all skilletary allies to start of the fight, that's very helpful. And then Merc Soldier. If you're worried about him being a stat stick before, he's now an even bigger stat stick. But his special got a very significant buff. Before, it just cleared two positive effects on the primary target and did some damage and applied bleed. Now... It also transfers one positive effect to himself and all skilletary allies. Can no longer be blocked or countered. So, uh, this is a big deal. You're effectively clearing three positive effects on the enemy team now with this buff to, uh, to Merc Soldier. This is big. And now his passive now gives 40% bonus damage instead of 30% and 50% max health to himself and skilletary allies up from 20%. Big boost to the health, 10% bonus damage to uh, for himself and skilletary allies. And in fact, all military allies, not just skilletary. So Captain America, Captain Marvel, I believe Winter Soldier is also military. War Machine, any other military allies you throw on the skilletary team will get that 40% bonus damage instead of 30%. So um, yeah, guys, these are looking like some hefty buffs to skilletary. I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about these boosts to skilletary? Are you happy with them? Did you want to see more? Let me know down below in the comment section. But as always, make sure to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.